we gotta cut through here and try and find a find a corner back in them trees. A couple places in here. We're looking for some monuments. And uh, we could take a look on the map and see what it looks like. So we were using Onyx map. And in Onyx map, you can see the orange line is the boundary that we were trying to discover. Uh, we have the corner down there, the corner there, and we are looking for those. And uh, this map, this app here, has helped us with this uh, property going around these boundaries and looking for the corners that we need to find. Uh, definitely Onyx map is an asset when you're out surveying. Um, I have to various layers turned on and off, but great app. Hey, you're gonna ding your machete. So first off, we got power lines all over the place. And he's chopping back here. Look at that, that's a guy anchor. What is this stuff? Manhole, ow, right in the eyeball. Sort of old school communications. Wow. Quit mad. All right, easy. I don't want to get chopped. So somewhere. Some more crap over there. That's a power pole over there. So we got to get. Back here. I'm gonna go get the uh, locator. See if we can get a. Yeah, that's a lot of metal everywhere. Yeah, we might want to look at the next one. Keep our way back in. So, yeah, we're looking for a half inch piece of rebar sticking up out of the bushes in all this. Well, let's go check a different. Yeah, let's go look for a oh, different way. What? What? I wonder if this is the same era as that point was set, you know what I mean? All this junk or like if it's... they had those points when they built this shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. In which case, they might just be... Underneath all this? It's like a hole or something right there. You need to stick her in there again. Oh, you hit. Oh, it's a root. Let me see. The wire. Either wire or a nail. There it is. All right. We're now headed down to what we believe is the section line here and trying to get down to where the next corner might be, property or boundary corner. And um, there's a paper wasp. Hmm. A piece of a paper wasp nest. We want to make sure we watch out for that. This has all been logged, and this stuff kind of grew up. So.
we think our point should be back back there a ways. So we'll do this for a little bit and then check the our onyx map uh, for how close we are to the boundary line, which we will check right now. So we're continuing on. As you can see, this was an old road bed. There's the edge of it right over there. You actually probably can't see it. I chopped all through here. And continuing on, get thicker. But we're almost there. It's like 10 feet to the clearing. We were hacking for lying for an hour. There's something right here. What is that? Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, that's a bolt. Well, here, why don't you back up? Found a pipe that's got some flagging on it. Um, I wonder if that is over the point. I think it is. I bet you it is. So we're going to see if uh, maybe the rod is underneath, like this uh, pipe is over. The rod so what we'll do is we'll pull it up real safe like without disturbing much and then wand around with our thing and yep see how careful he's being <laughs> Let's see the shallow. all right don't swing behind you hey i'm looking for a 5 8 iron rod i found a pipe don't up the rod inside the pipe but i look up the bank and what do i see a 5 8 rod. Let's see. Sticking out of the ground. Oh, look at that. Now we can measure with a tape 68 feet across and see if we find the other one. And it just happens to be at the top of the bank. All right, here, let me see that. Hold that stuff down again. I'm going to take oh. a little picture here. That's what we've been looking for, hopefully. We'll measure 68 feet from that and see if we find the other one. Good job, awesome. he, he lined it right out. Yeah. Measured the 68 feet and look what we found. Well, not only that, but you also got online and almost pinpointed it. Yep, using the compass and the tape, we measured across the uh, way here and kind of bent around the tree that he was behind. Moved a pipe that was uh, encased in concrete and there it is. That was funny because you said, Oops, I bet you it's oh, underneath of that concrete. Okay. So, we found a corner here, a corner there. We're chopping back there for the third corner. We're going to measure through the trees with our tape here. And I'll show you uh, where we're at. So, here's one of the points. I'll show you here where we are. We have found this point measured over across this uh, opening to the point I'm standing at right here and then we're gonna look for this one and what we're gonna do is measure that bearing and distance to get old Jamie there and then use our wand to pick up a signal among all the metal and decipher from wisdom of years of surveying experience what an iron pin will sound like compared to the rest of the metal. So we measured the distance with this tape. Then we get our bearing of where we need to be. And that's a good line. Let's go look. So the hard part here is it's right at the back of this tree. Somewhere right distance wise, but we have this big giant huge pipe that throws the signal off. So we just have to kind of dig around on that distance from the last monument. Remove the concrete cylinder. Now 
No, that doesn't sound, that sounds like a wire. Right there. Yeah. See that, what I'm hitting right there? Uh -huh. I thought I made it a sea but I was wrong. <laughs> Let me turn it down. Now. Yeah. Yeah, one or two. One. You want to come see what this is? Yeah. See right there? Uh huh. Right there? I feel something. Oh. I feel something. Definitely feel something. What do we got there? Is it on its side? It feels like something flat. It looks like a rod on its side. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it bent or? That's it. That's it, dude. Yep. It's bent. Let me grab the shovel. That's the rod. Yeah, it's bent. We can rotate it. If it's just laying down, we can't use it. So, we'll see. Let's dig it up. It is what it is. So, I think this might be it. It does look bent. It's, oh, this it's the tree I'm holding down almost blew up. Yeah, we might be able to rotate that. Hmm. Maybe. Awesome. Maybe not. Not without taking this tree out. Yeah, but we'd have to chop pretty hard into this tree thing. Don't pull it out. It only has like, what, another half a foot on it? I'm gonna pull it out and shoot the hole if I have to. What? With our gun? I don't know. That looks bent and leaning. Yeah. Definitely disturbed. Yeah. Drop a little plate. All right. Hey there, just saying hi. We're over here. Uh, I don't know if you know this guy. This is my friend Jamie. <laughs> We're gonna set some points to tie these property corners that we found. So, talk to you later. We set a uh, point here. Hey, how's it going? We're gonna set another one down there. Run the GPS on them. Set up, tie these pins. And then tie this someday to the bottom of this mountain. Probably already eating the green over there. So now what he's gonna do is we are setting up the instrument on the first GPS point, back siding this GPS point, and from here, we're gonna set up here on this one and we'll be able to tie a point that is right through there somewhere. Yeah, right there. Hmm, right there. And right there, the two monuments we found. And then traverse down the mountain to the other two GPS points and it'll all be closed together. At least that's the theory. After setting control and tying the monuments we needed, we used Onyx Hunt to map the roads we drove on. 